Shanti, uh, I know we all practice to get peace and everything, but sometimes, you know, you feel the, the, all these uh, vibrations well up from inside you, these negative vibrations, and you can't figure where they're coming from or why. And I know, yes. is that the, your sand scars or what is that that you're releasing? Yes. So meditation practice or spiritual evolution is lifetime commitment. You cannot go by, you know, feeling good and get excited. I had good meditation. Mm -hmm. Then what happened next time you sit, you don't feel that excited. So there's something is wrong. Or nothing happens for a few days. So this is why meditation should be continued with persistency, regularity, and without expectation. So there are two words for spiritual practice I have in the yellow book. One is called Abhyasa and second is called Vairagya. These two things are necessary. Abhyasa means constant practice. What is constant practice? It's not just doing exercise or sitting meditation. Constant awareness of the self. It's just something that keeps you in tune with yourself. Connection with the self is called Abhyasa. Abhyasa means study. But study doesn't mean just mechanical practice. So something keeps you connected. So even while you are acting, doing your thing during the day, you remember yourself, you are, it's called Abhyasa. Otherwise, you could be sitting for meditation, your mind is wandering. It is not abhyasa. Second thing is vairagya. Vairagya means renunciation. Renunciation means you give up the attachment to the results. So you meditate and don't expect any results. Like you plant the seeds, allow time, you know. First the sprout comes, then it grows. You nurture it with fertilizer, water, and all tender care. So until it becomes a plant, brings flowers, fruits, and then it becomes a tree or full-grown plant, then it doesn't need any more attention. So this is how one should sustain the practice. So temporary bubbles of disturbance, that is already, because nothing remains the same all the time. It comes and it goes. So when we realize it, then we have patience. Today we are living in the society and of instant gratification. Everything is quick. People have lost patience. You know, just, just overall. Lifestyle is such that people don't have patience. There is a road rage, all kind of violence because people don't have patience. Mm -hmm. Imagine in older times, Hundred years ago, people don't have electricity, they did not have running water, just did not have all the comforts. They had patience and they had peace. So they can put up with all the discomforts, they can put up with whatever happening around. So they had much more tolerance of others, see. So this becomes our habit. So commitment to meditation is whatever comes up. Whatever comes up is only cleansing. So look from that standpoint. You know, you can hide under the sand, but danger doesn't go away. So it is better it comes up. So when anything comes up, you observe with higher awareness, expansion of consciousness, so you can see those bubbles or disturbance is nothing, nothing that critical. Those bubbles become disturbing, only we attach to them and judge them. So this is what we have to learn, is to maintain steady practice, let these things come and go. So this is the basic nature and this is where people give up because they don't find smooth meditation. I remember in the past somebody used to come to class and they got so much excited and then they stopped coming. I said, first time I came, I felt so high, but I don't feel that high anymore. <laughs> you know, why? 
because it's not about feeling high what it is about is maintaining that inner tranquility to rise above high and lows that is what we are we are not the mind which fluctuates we are not the emotions that fluctuate we are the consciousness that is permanent witness okay so that is the general does it make sense yes yes thanks